Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GCAP. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways. Absolutely monster move from a price action perspective. But then you look down here at the volume and biggest volume this one has had for uh, quite a while. So a lot of people watching this one and let's get some levels of support and resistance mapped out. So first area of support to keep an eye on and this is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, hey Clay, what make this chart look the absolute strongest? is right here at the $7 mark. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below seven, by no means am I saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, going forward, if the price can stay up above that $7 mark, that would be a huge sign of power in the bull's favor. Taking a step back and looking at the big picture of things, it's really all about the purple line right here, which is the famous 50 period simple moving average. Keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So from a very kind of overall perspective, I mean, maybe you're sitting there saying, look, Clay, how do I gauge just the health of the move right here? That right there being defined as the move. How can you gauge the health of that? Again, using that purple line, as time goes by and that purple line moves itself upwards, as long as the price stays above it, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full strength, full control. However you can best visualize that, no questions asked. Again, yeah, if the price stays above $7, that would be ideal. But from the big picture of things, as long as the price is above that purple line, the trend is fully in the bull's favor. Now, what about areas of resistance? For this, I'm actually gonna go to another time frame and try to dig back a little bit further. As you can see here, just today, absolute monstrous day. So let's dig back, so there we go. Next key level of resistance, which maybe rejected it today, almost $7.50. So that'll be public enemy number one going into you know next week, you can see back here, that is right where the price rejected it. And then today, like I said, temporarily the price got above it, but that didn't last very long and the price fell back below it. So 750, that near term level of resistance starting next week. And then after that, if the price can push through there, next key level of resistance, whoops, right up here, around the seven, or we'll just make it the $8 mark. That easy makes it easy to remember. So $7.50, $8, two key levels of resistance going to next week. No doubt about it, very powerful move today. So now we'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not next week. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.